Everything is kawa. No, this is my president. She's a woman. You, you're supposed to be happy for a fellow woman. Yeah, I'm happy for her. Yeah, we're pretending. No, dear. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to the hotel. I'm going to go 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 to the hotel. i Prince wants to be sure whether this is Cinderella, so going to unveil her. To be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy law. And this is my solemn vow. each other they have declared their marriage by joining of the hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring i therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife in the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen so prince prince you can now receive your bride. I don't know how you want to receive her. <laughs> and Cindy, you know that those people who deal with the films, they deal with many people, including many ladies. And when they are shooting, they can ask them to take all sorts of poses and they will obey. But you posed the best and won his heart. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I want to thank God for you. I won't be saying a lot because we have very limited time. But two days we closed, clocked. Uh, 26 years in marriage me and my wife Ruth and yesterday our children took us for dinner in a very good hotel I was surprised that they got the money to do that and when we were there they asked much it has been love and they said daddy what has been the thing and I said it has been love and they said elaborate. We said that is for next time. But we want to congratulate you. And I want to say one major thing to you. That this marriage will stand and fall. Basing on one thing. Love. And I want to say three quick things about this love. First of all, it must be love for God. Love for God. If you asked your best man and your matron, the people you know well enough, it is love for God that has brought them this far. In the Bible, it is asked, 
that how then should we love one another? And the answer was, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Now, let me clarify that. Because I'm saying it is about love, the love for God is the first. Because the Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, it says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Genuine love comes from God. All other love can be there. But if it is not genuine love from God, it will not work. And that genuine love and our love for God is you love God with all your heart. That means it's not just emotions, not only those sparkles wherever you see Cinderella. Those are important because without them it won't work. But beyond that, you love with your heart, you love with your mind, you love with your thought. Love God with your thought. This is the supreme love. This love is more than just the feelings as I've said. You love in such a way that you are willing to sacrifice anything for the sake of God. You love God with the whole of your life. That is what it says. Love God with your soul. When it says your soul, it is saying with all your life. Love him every moment of your life. Praise the Lord. Love him when you are in the studio shooting. You love her when she is on the stage singing. You love her when you are at home. You love her even when another man is calling her. Hallelujah. And you don't know the man. <laughs> I'm told the celebrities, my friend, it's always like a competition every day. You love her, whatever the circumstances. You love her with your life, your entire life. You love God with your strength, which actually means you love God with everything you have. Everything you have, you love her like that, and you love God that way. Okay. I was waiting for you to, to finish that. So if you have that love of God, if you have that connection with God, if you are working with God the way we said in the counseling, and you love God that way, you should be able to have the love to transfer to her. But the second thing is that love is practical. Love is practical. You heard what we read in the scriptures. Love is practical. This love is not, it's not just words. It is practical. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 18, it says, Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with the actions and the truth. And I've underlined the two words there. Love with the actions and the truth. With the actions and the truth. And there is one action I would want you to practice. It is the action of caring for one another. Cindy, you have a big job to care for this type of guy, my friend. It's a big job. But you've tried, you've succeeded up to now but actually prince has a harder one because women love care more than men women want to be treated like children women want to be appreciated all the time women want to be praised all the time she's beautiful but she still wants you to tell her she's beautiful and every day, and every time. She knows you've loved her, you've even done a wedding, 
but she would want you not only to say you love her, but to demonstrate that love all the time. Will you please care for each other? Would you please walk with each other? Would you please support each other? Would you please encourage each other? Would you please act the love you have for one another? You love God and you love one another. And you love one another, one major thing, you care for one another. If you care for this lady, if you care for that man, you will be able to walk together. Cindy, there is a lot out there. There is a lot already you've experienced. There are lots of priorities there. But you know what? Prince must be priority. Hello? Prince must be priority. You have those invitations in whatever dinners in every place. Please go with the prince. Hallelujah. <laughs> prince, stick to her. You go together. Don't give gap, don't give space. You love her. You care about her. You are there for her. And she's there for you. And if you walk with that, with the love of God, with the love for each other, with the care for each other, the Lord will take you through this and will rejoice with you for the rest of your lives. Even if I speak another 30 minutes, you might have even already shifted from here to another place. So I'd rather stop and say, I wish you a wonderful and fruitful marriage. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.